Hey folks, Dave back here in Studio B playing more baseball. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah, I'm, I'm the baseball guy all of a sudden. Uh, but I, I'm having fun and that's all that matters. Tonight on the channel, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to play some season ticket baseball. And again, I'm using the Digital Diamond Companion, which I absolutely love. I, I really can't believe that... Uh, I didn't have this thing. This is making cards and dice baseball so fun. In fact, uh, Mark has been emailing me and helping me, you know, set up the game and do some things here. So he's been fantastic uh, as far as support goes. So anyway, um, all right, so I think I'm good to go here. And let me get everything up and running. Okay. And here we go. So let me get down to the field. As today, we are playing... Uh, the Red Sox and the Indians. Now, if you notice, I didn't change any of the um, the statistics here on the players. In fact, I wonder if I could take that off, if I could show the notes. Visible statistics. What is this? Uh, I'm a dice roll. I thought there was something like show notes. Yeah, let's, let's take the notes off. There we go. That makes it a little bit cleaner, I think. Okay. All righty, so I took the notes off, so we'll get going here. So I have 1979. It's Cleveland at Boston. And as you can see, I dolled up the place a little bit. And what I really like about this game, I'm going to do a whole video on uh, digital diamond baseball and setting up on the whole bix. This is so much I want to talk about here. But today we're going to play. Um, I printed out my teams here. So I have digital. I mean, I have, um, boy, so many baseball games. I'm playing season ticket baseball. This is 1979. I get notes all over the place here because I'm still not um, still learning the game is what I should say. So I did the weather check. There's no weather check, so that's going to be nice and easy. I'm not going to play rare plays tonight. I'm going to try to play as basic as possible just so I can get through the game. Uh, but aside from that, let's play. Let's see what we can do. I, I played a little bit here. I played about a half a game the other day, so I have an idea how it flows. And um, it, it's not too difficult, but there's just a lot to remember. All right, so let's kick things off. And it's going to be Toby Hara up here first. So you got to go red, white, and blue. So we have a 491. And 491 is off the batter card, I believe. Yeah, because 1 and 2 is pitcher. 3 and 4 is batter. 5 is defense and rare, which I'm not going to use rare. And 6 is the, um, the field. All right, so Toby Hara is up. And with a 491 on the Toby Hara card, he is against um, Eckersley, who is a righty. He is hit by the pitch. Oh, boy. So we're going to um, enter our pitch here. And he's going to be hit by pitch, right? Uh, no, hit by pitch. What is, the, what is the hit by pitch? Is it hit by How about that? There we go. All right. So right off the bat, <laughs> Eckersley dong somebody. <laughs> now, Harris speed is four. His steal is a six. So I could try to steal with Harrow, but he's not the fastest guy. So I think with a speed of four, we're not going to try it. Uh, Norris comes up. And if you notice that I, I have my sheets in full sheets. I didn't cut them all out. I did trim the pitchers down a little bit so I could get them on my thing over here. Um, in fact, I'll show you the pitchers of what I did with the pitchers. So I cut the pitchers like this. So I could kind of have them side by side, even though I didn't cut them all the way. But I do have them side by side. But the um, the player cards here are just full, is what I did. And that way there, I can just kind of flick through the sheet instead of flicking through individual cards. All right, so we got Norris coming up. And he is a lefty hitter. And he's going against Eckersley. So it is one man on and absolutely nobody out. As Cleveland baseball fans stops by for a Cleveland game. The Cleveland Indians are playing here tonight, 1979. This is technically opening day. Uh, I just wanted to play a game on the schedule. All right, so now, so it's going to be off the pitcher card. A 1-2-9 is going to be uh, a 3-X-X. So that means we turn the 1 to a 3, and it's going to be a 3-2-9, correct? So on the Jim Norris card, a 3-2-9 is a fly ball to right field with a plus, and R2 can maybe do something. So let's check this out here. So we have a fly ball 
the right field. I just want to double check this here. I'm pretty sure um, runners on third base tags and score if applicable. Runner two may tag, but since I only have a runner on base, right? So that's going to be a um, R2 question mark. He may challenge the arm. And the challenges are kind of fun. They do take a while to kind of, you know, roll against arms and speed. Uh, but it, it's simple. It's just a couple of steps you got to figure out, and it is fun. So that's going to be a fly ball on the right, basically, because uh, the first the guy over there is not going to go. So Evans is going to go make the catch and is one away as Max Cornelius stops by. I'm playing a new game here, a new game for me, um, season ticket uh, baseball here. And so now I get Bonds coming up. So let me get Bonds. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Bonds is on the second page. So I only have three or four pages to flick through, so it makes finding guys pretty easy. All righty. So Bonds now is going to be a 4, 5, and an 8. That's going to be off of his card. So against a righty, and both pitches tonight are righty, uh, a 4, 5, and an 8 is going to be... Where are you here? Fly ball to left field. Yaskrimski comes over. And we'll make the catch. And there's two away now. So the hit pitch by Toby Harris kind of turning into a lot of nothing. And um, in case anybody was um, a asking about, you know, someone was asking on Facebook about how easy it is to learn digital to diamond and put the stuff. I'm not a baseball guy. I don't know how to log in baseball games. And I'm already logging it in a lot without notes, except when something crazy happens. Oh, around the layout showed. I'm glad you showed up today. We do have... Um, in the lineup, we have Ted Cox, and I know how much you like, um, Cox. Oh, boy, I get Jacket calling me. What does he need? Uh, Jacket, what's going on? Yeah, I'm playing some season ticket. Is everything okay? Is your birthday good? Did that animal turn out Okay. All righty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, good old Ron. You got to love good old Ron. He always checks in on me, makes sure I'm doing okay. But anyway, we have Cox in the lineup tonight, and I know that uh, around the layout. Like, is it Dwight or Dwight? I, I think it's Dwight. I think it's Dwight. Like Cool Whip, you know what I mean? All righty, so we get two outs, a man on first. Sports Time Machine stops by. Sports Time Machine, have you ever played season ticket baseball? I'm just kind of wondering. You're the baseball guru here around here. I wonder if you played it. I just started playing it. I'm absolutely loving it. It's it's kind of like um, pocket pennant run, but 3.0, which is it just there's so much to check it, but it's all easy and it's really fun. And and uh, I really like this game so far. I really like this game. So I'm playing again tonight because I, if I, if I really like it tonight, I might pick up a couple more seasons on the sale. All righty. So now Andre Thornton comes up with Toby Harris still at first base, a 3.77. And that's going to be a fly ball in the left field on the 377. Yaz yes, will come over and he'll take that himself. And that ends the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors. And we go to the bottom of the first. Rick Wise is on the mound for the Indians. He's a righty picture. I said, did I say picture? I said picture, didn't I? All right, Jerry Remy was going to lead things off. So he's on the top of my card here. So that's kind of good. All right, so Jerry Remy. And we get a uh oh, we're gonna go to the uh, the chart here. A six five eight. So six five eight. We're gonna go to the Fenway Park chart. And that's I kind of like that. It's not quite fifty fifty. It's really divided up rather nice. It is. Um, oh, I'll just leave that like that. Uh, so we get a um. I'm sorry. Uh, it's gonna be a slow game because I'm learning it here. Six five eight is gonna be, and we add five if the home team is batting. So it's gonna be a six six three. And it's going to be a 6-4. Um, change first base. If into, okay, so it's just going to be ground ball to short. So, G6. Down ball. Ground ball to Verizon. Verizon Wireless. And he is out. Rick Burleson comes up. Let me get the Burleson shot here. So you haven't tr you haven't tried it. Strat has a 20 perfect deal window seat. Yeah, yeah. 20% off deal. Yeah. I think I'm going to probably pick up a couple of, couple of more seasons on... Uh, I have plenty of hockey, but maybe football and baseball I might pick up. 
during a sale. I like to get some things during a sale. All right, Rick Burleson comes up. Again, it's his first at-bat of the season facing Rick Wise. And let's hopefully you see that roll over there. So we got a 3-10. We got a 3-10. So coming off the Burleson card, a 3-10. He struck him out. Give him the K. Special K. And now coming up is Freddie Lynn with two outs. Freddie Lynn will be in center field tonight. And we got a oh another ballpark chart here. A six thirty two. It's going to be a six thirty seven, and that's going to be a long fly ball in the center field. But Mister Speed back there is going to make the catch, and that's his name, Speed. So Speed is speedy enough to make the catch. All right, so so far, no issues. We haven't had any bat, uh, base runners yet, except for Toby Harris. So it's going pretty smooth here tonight. And so let's go to the top of the second. Cleveland is batting, and it's going to be uh, Alexander coming up. So let me get my Alexander card here. Gary Alexander. And here we go. Again, this is season ticket baseball. I'm using digital diamond. I keep calling it digital two diamond because it's digital two dice. It's digital diamond baseball. And that's the, the helper I'm using. Oh, another chart here. A 696. Six. Ooh, that's going to be something big. 696. Six. And that's going to be a. Alexander's going to wrap this one into the outfield. And that's going to be a double. Ooh, that was almost a triple. A 696. Six. A 697 six, would have been a triple. That's going to be a double. It's going to be a two base hit for Alexander as he hits that into right field. And they have a runner now on second base. Yikes. And here's Aronda Layout's favorite player. It is Ted Cox. Now, Alexander doesn't have any speed, so we're not going to be running at all. Could try to bunt. Cox is, no, Cox's bunt is a two. He's terrible. No, his bunt's a four. Um, I could try to squeeze him over to second base. Let me, let me I'm going to try that. I like to bunt, so I'm going to take out my, my bunt chart which is over here under Offensive Strategies. And to do a bunt, I roll all three dice, add his bunt rating, and I look at the chart. And I think that's kind of the basic way of doing it. So let's do that. So Ted Cox with a bunt of four, and he lays down the bunt. Oh, higher is better usually. So we have 13, we have 14, we have 18, and that's going to be one to three. So it's going to be a sacrifice one to three. So I think we're going to, was it sack? One, three. No, Ill illegal command. So I didn't do that right. So i got to go back to my sacrifice and see what the sacrifice is going to be. S-H. Okay, how about that? How about that? How about S-H, one, three. Sacrifice hit. Drops a nice bunt down, and yes... Alexander goes to third. Okay. Um, like it not. Dwayne Mott stops by. Good to see you. Dwayne Mott has been playing that new tennis game. I'm dying to check it out. I, I was really interested in playing the shot-by-shot -shot version, but uh, I heard it takes a while to play, um, even though that might be kind of fun because it's just, you know, just taking two players and having a match. That might be kind of fun. All right, so now we have – oh, boy – I'm going to say this guy's name wrong, and I always do. I think it's Kipper, right? Someone's going to say it's, it's something different, but I think it's Kipper. All right, so Dwayne's coming up. All right, we have Dwayne Mott in the chat room, and we have Dwayne K at the bat. All right, so with one out, we have a runner on third base. We're going to bring the infield in, and you can do that in this game. So this is a little bit of the extra strategy, so... We're going to bring the infield in, and let's see if that changes any of the results. So I got my little chart here for infield in. And, well, that won't matter here, I don't think, because we got a 6-8-6. Six, six. And a 6-8-6 six, six is going right off the Fenway Park chart. And that's going to be another double. Another double. So I don't think it's going to matter. Yep, the double won't matter with playing everybody in. So a 6-8-6 six, six is going to be a two-bagger. And that's the second double of the game here. And Eckersley is getting rocked here. 30 minutes to play a set, six games to three. Okay. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. So Kipper is on second base, and it's going to be Verizon coming up. Kipper, long eye. Keeper? Keeper? Kipper? I don't know. 
All righty, so Verizer comes up now against Eckersley. one nothing, by the way, for the engines. And we have a, oh, we got a 535. So this is coming off the batter card. So three is first base. Okay, so I got to go my, my first defensive check here, and it's George Scott. All right, so George Scott defensive check. So 535 five. off of George Scott is going to be three unassisted. So Scott's going to take that one all by himself. So it's going to be a um, G33. That's the unassisted code. And so Kipper, Kuiper, Keeper moves down to third base. Dwayne's at third base. How about that? Coming up now is Speed. And what's kind of funny, Speed was all alone here. He was kind of like, look at the card here. Like this, He's all alone. Like Everybody else is here with other people, and he has his own sheet of paper, this guy. That's how special Horace Speed is. All right, so he comes up now. He is uh, batter nine here in a second inning, so Eckersley's already seen a lot of, a lot of pitches here. So here we go. And this is going to be a 430. And a 430, I think that's going to be off the batter card. Yes, it is. Against a righty. 430 is a base on balls. Oh, boy. So, Eckersley not having the greatest outing here on opening day. So, we have speed at first, Kipper, Kuiper, Keeper at third base. And coming up is the top of the order, Toby. Excuse me, Hara. And another, <laughs> oh, boy, 655. And, okay, if the infield was in, we're not playing in because we're back with two outs. So a 6-5-5 five, five is going to be a 5-4. So, G, 5-4. So they're going to go to, wow, I don't know what happened there, but they went to second base on a play. So that ends the inning. So the Indians get one, and they lead this one, one to nothing as we go to the bottom of the second. And this is season ticket baseball. And this is really, really fun. All right, so let me get my uh, Jim Rice up here. Here he is. And again, I like to, I printed out, um, I just print out the whole sheet, as you can see. I can, that way there, it's easy to find players instead of thumbing through them, which can be a, a, a nuisance. So I found a nice little way to set this up. All righty, so that should be off the pitcher card, right? A 1-3-4. So Rick Waits, uh, no, Rick Wise, the righty. 1-3-4 is... Uh, fly ball into right field. Bonds coming over, and Bonds makes the catch. So many names in this team. Um, Wise, Kipper Kuiper, Thornton, Toby Hara, Bonds. I remember all these guys from 79. I do. I remember them all. All right, so Yastrzemski comes up. Yastrzemski, a 3-5-3. Three, three. That's off his own cut, a 3-5-3. Three, three. And this is going to be popped up. 3-5-3 three, three to 5 so that's going to be third baseman, pop up, third base. It says fly out, but um, I think it actually has to be a pop up to the infield. So I pop up to third, and he is done. So now the boomer comes up, George Scott. Let's see if the Sox can get anything going here. And George Scott, a 271. I think that comes off the pitcher card. George Scott is a righty hitter. I thought he was a lefty. I guess he is a righty. So righty on righty with the 271. And that is going to be, ooh, it's going to be a deep drive into left field. All righty. So let's add the power rating, which is a six. Are you kidding me? Let's see what happens. This is deep to left field. George Scott gets a hold of one. Come on, a nice high number here. Oh, it's an 11. It's a 17, and this is gone. The Boomer booms one out over the monster. Actually, it said center field, but I had left field on that. I don't know if I could change it. I don't know if it would matter so much here if I could change it to where it was hit, but... Uh, I don't know if you can do that in this game. If you put in home run, can you say where it goes? No, I don't think so. It's just home run, so it's out, it's out of the park. But anyways, it was left field. It might have shown center on the screen, but it's left. So the Sox have tied this up on the booming blast by the Boomer. That's kind of fun, actually. 
that, that's really fun because I'm using the Fenway Park here. And uh, each park is a little bit different. It does different things. So that was a home run with his power of six. That was kind of cool. Ted Cox is married twice. <laughs> do I need Do I need to read the rest of that? <laughs> was he from Nantucket? <laughs> All right. And Bob Montgomery is the catcher in this game. And Bob Montgomery comes up. And we got a four, four, and a three. And that'll be off his card. And a four, four, and a three. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A four four two to four four six is a triple. Bob Montgomery gets a triple. When's a, he's probably had one in his entire life. I don't even know if he wore a helmet. Oh, I'm. Oh wait. Oh wait. That's Brohammer. Oh, I thought it said Montgomery. Oh, let me back that up. Let me back that up. Let me undo. Let me undo. I was gonna say that's kind of weird. Let me undo the last play. So it's Brohammer. Why did I think it was Montgomery? Oh, I was looking at the bottom. My bad. I was looking at the bottom. So that would have been a triple. It still might be. Brohammer, a 4-4-3 four, four, for Brohammer. And, oh, bummer. Bummer. It's going to be a uh, ground ball. Oh, that was that's too bad. I was all excited. I was all excited. G4. That ends the inning. Well, well if it's too bad if it was Bob Montgomery, he had a triple. That would have been cool. <laughs> Good thing I caught that. I read the wrong. I was looking at the bottom of the screen, not who was at the plate. Silly me. It happens. All righty. They tie it up on the homer by George Scott. Let's go to the third. Let's have some fun here. And now we have Norris coming up. Norris is 0 for 1 in this game. And he's going to roll a 5 8 6. So that's going to be the center fielder, Freddie Lynn. So, Freddie Lynn, what do you got, Freddie, here on a 5 8 6? Freddie Lynn. 5.86 is, oh boy, what do we get here? Fly, uh, just, that's just going to be a fly out. If there was runners on base, if something else might have happened, he's just going to make the catch. So Freddie Lynn going to make that catch out there in center field. Good enough. Good enough for me. All right, coming up now is the Bonds, the Bale Bonds, Barry Bonds. Not James Bonds, Barry Bonds. He is 0 for 1 himself. We have a... Four, four, five. Ooh, these four, four, fives are crazy. Uh, four, four, five. And that's going to be a long fly ball in the right field. But coming over is Evans and Dewey will make the catch. And there's another one. Um, okay, Clinton Pox sauce. Why? Good to see you, Clinton. Haven't seen you in a while. Here is a strict observer only. Okay. Uh, please be, <laughs> because I'm just I'm just having fun here tonight. Working on the very same product Beatles is broadcasting. We want to play it in Digital Diamond Baseball. Yeah. This this companion is so fun. The game itself is fine, um, but I like the fact that I can play all my other games here. I really do like that. All right, so we have two outs in the third, and Andre Thornton coming up. Not Joe Thornton. It's Andre Thornton at 5, 6, and an 8. So it's going to be hit down to Burleson. And a five, six, eight is, oh, it's going to be a single. Single going in the left field. Now, what happened here? I just want to read this here. First base. Ooh. Is that infield single on Burleson? No, it says left field. I don't know what that means. But it's going to be a single nonetheless. It says, I don't know if that's supposed to be IF or LF. It says LF, which is weird. I'm not sure why it would say that one base LF maybe got hit in the left field. All right, so it's going to be a base hit. It's going to go base hit. So it's going to be a base hit as Bertelson can't come up with a play, and Thornton is on first base with two away. Okay. Uh, so they are going to hold the runner. Now, if you hold the runner, um, holding the runner, okay, so we're not going to hold the runner. So a 3-1, i got to remember that a 3-1 is a base hit to right field. But if I don't hold the runner, he gains speed. Hmm. I'll just hold him. I'll just hold him. So a 3-1 actually is a hit if they get the hit. So Alexander coming up. Alexander. Gary Alexander. And what has he done today? What has Gary Alexander done today? He is, um, oh, that's the wrong one. You could click on the picture. And he's uh oh he's got a double. 
and he scored a run, I think. So he's had a busy day. Good for him. You're using it for NPNG+. Plus. Yeah, i got to look into that because I think that's kind of similar to APA, right? Am I wrong? In NPNG+. Plus. There's so many baseball games I haven't played yet. All right. Gary Alexander, two out, and Thornton on first base. Oh, another ballpark check. Six, seven, seven. And that's going to be, uh-oh, single and two bases. Single and two bases. So that's going to be a 1B++. Plus plus. And Thornton will go to third base, and it's runners at the corners. And just like that, it's uh, the Sox are in some more trouble here. Oh, boy. Did I say Barry? Is it Bobby? Or is it? Yeah, it is Bobby. Did I say Barry Bonds? There's so many Bonds. There's James Bonds. There's Barry Bonds. There's Bobby Bonds. I could be wrong. I think it is Bobby Wands. I have a fact just call him B. <laughs> just call him B. All right, around the layout is now all excited as Ted Cox has come to the plate with runners at the corners. All right. And look at that's on edge. Uh, he's going to be a 2-2-5, two, two, and that should be off um, the pitcher's card. So let's go to Eckersley on a 2-2-5 two, two, against a righty. And a 2-2-5 two, two, is a uh, ground ball down the short, 6-3. So G6, and that will end the inning. So, fun time there. They get out of it. It's still just one-to-one. -one. As Replay Gamer stops by, I've been noticing you and playing some Apple football and enjoying that. That's fantastic. That's one game I, I would I would have liked to get into. It's just they don't have the seasons I like, and I'm paying, like I say, I'm paying for a lot of cards I'll never use, and I think this is kind of a little bit more than I want to do. But if you're having fun, that's great. I might try it someday. And Tommy Ball Game stops by. Tommy ball game. And it is. It's, it's hard not to root for, for Ted. All right, so coming up now is Dewey Evans. He's over here. And Dewey Evans with a 3-3-5. Three, three, that's off of his card. A 3-3-5 three, three, is a uh, fly ball into center field, but Speed is going to use his speed and make the catch, and there's one away. Um, Who's up now? Oh, now Bob Montgomery. Excuse me, remember the last time Bob Montgomery came up and I read it wrong and he had a triple? Let's see if I can roll the same. Let's see if I can get him that triple back. Um, okay, I'm just reading Clinton Parks here. Yeah, yeah, we, we can talk about that. We can talk about, you know, getting getting some of that so I can try out another game. I love trying out different games. All right, Bob Montgomery. And it's a 1-1-4 one, one, off Rick Wise's card. And that's going to be, uh, ooh, it's going to be a 3-1-4. Turns into a 3-1-4. And a 3-1-4, he's struck him out. That's good. I figured what happened. Bob Montgomery doesn't get triples. <laughs> All right. Remdog comes at a plate. Remdog is 0 for 1 today. What did he do today? We could just kind of ask him what he did. And he, uh, he grounded out. Okay. Here's the Remdog. And this is a 519, so it's going to be a pitcher check. Ooh, a 519 hit right back to Wise. And 519. Get gets by him in the center field. So Remy smashes this one by the pitcher, and he is on. And where's the rim dog? There he is. His speed is four, his steal is four. I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to steal. All right, Burleson, where's the rooster? Here's the rooster. All right, the rooster, he is 0 for 1. We have a 5-5-5, five, five, five. so it's going to be hit down to the third baseman, Toby Hara. 5-5-5, five, five, five. and that gets by him into left field. So, back-to-back -back singles by the Sox, and they got things happening with two outs here. In the inning. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that was two outs, right? Yeah. Um, we got loop to center. And Montgomery struck out. Yep, okay. All righty. So we have two outs. Runners at first and second. And it's Freddie Lynn coming up. Freddie Lynn. I don't want to jinx him, but Freddie Lynn does well on my channel. 
He really does, especially when playing PC replay baseball. When you roll three sixes in the bottom of the ninth, and that's a home run. All righty, Freddie Lynn, a 5-7-9. This is going to be hit into left field. Around the layout, cheering for Ted Cox to make this play. It's a 5-7-9, and 5-7-9 is... He's going to drop the ball. It's going to be an error on Cox out in left field. So now, hang on a sec here. So on an error, I'm pretty sure, let me check my error chart. These guys are running on contact. That's going to happen. So if he drops the ball, da -da 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 -da. Runners advance one base. So, I'd like to think they're off on contact. But, if it just says one base, then I'm going to go one base. All right? So, an E7 is a one base error. So, runners advance one base. So, we hit that in the right field. He dropped it, but everyone's going to have to stop. So, we're going to go E7. So Lynn flies that in the left field. Cox drops it, and the bases are loaded. Yeah, Remy doesn't have the speed. I don't think there's any way I can even challenge to go home, right? And I'm looking here, going on contact. Oh, wait a sec. Yeah, well, he'd be going on contact, but still, I don't think there's any way he, he comes home. I don't think. I don't think. So he definitely tripped. Cox tripped out there. And he drops the ball. So we got bases loaded, and pitchers pay the price when they face Jim Rice. Let's see if Jim Rice can get it done. Wise deals to Rice. He hits this one into right field. Ba Bobby Bonds. <laughs> Bobby Bonds in right field. A 5 9 3. And a 5 9 3. And. Oh, boy. Oh, f oh, anything but that. Uh, he's going to make the catch with a 5-9-3. So Rice hits that deep in the right field, but Bobby Bonds, not Barry Bonds, not James Bonds, not Chico's Bale Bonds, he makes the catch. And that ends the side. The Sox leave the bases loaded. And Rice almost hit that one out. If that was getting close to a double, actually. A couple more numbers up, that would have been a double. All right, having fun with season ticket tonight. I really am. This is a really, really fun game. It's a little more involved than something like Appara Strat because there's a lot more looking up on the charts because I'm not used to it. But it is very, very fun and very easy. It's just a lot to remember, and I'm trying to remember. All right, so now what do we got coming up here? Dwayne K. Dwayne K. I'm not saying his last name. Dwayne K. And it's a 430. And a 430 is going to be ground ball down to second base. And the Rem Dog scoops it up, and that is that. So Kipper is done. Verizer at the plate. Uh, Brandon Baker stops by. Season ticket, an excellent game. I would agree. I I just, um, you know what I did is I downloaded the game before Black Friday, I think on that Wednesday, and I got um, the 75 Sox and the Reds, and, and I played around because you can play those for free, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It's just right off the bat, it says, I'm going to really, really like this game. I just liked how it played. I like how it flowed. I liked what it did. And so I said, yeah. So I got a bunch of seasons on Black Friday, and I, I might sneak back and get a couple more. That's how much I really like this game. And I want to take advantage of the sale and support the developer and have these on hand when I want to play because I really enjoy it. I really do. It's a little bit longer of a game because there's a lot a lot to look up, but it's uh, it's fun solving this puzzle, finding out what it is. This, this is. this is a game in the game is finding out what to do. And then trying to plug it all into Digital Diamond Baseball Companion is uh, is fun as well. Hope you guys are enjoying the broadcast, by the way. I'm having a blast. All right, so we get Verizer up now. A 1-6-0 coming off the Eckersley card. And fly ball in the left field. Your scrumpsy will come over, and he will make that catch. And is now two-way. And here is Speed. Again, i got to go to my last card here. He is all by himself. 
And here we go. And we get a four ninety nine. And that's gonna be off of his card. Number four ninety nine. Strike him out. And that's gonna be his first strikeout of the game. And down go the Indians. Bonds bails out Cox. Yes, he does. He bails him out. He was in trouble. So nice play there as he made that catch in the right field. All righty. And let's see, Brendan says, we'll see. Uh, one thing I like about season ticket, not many others offer, is you can order teams individually. Okay. I like to get the whole seasons because just for me, yeah, I, what I want to do with this product here in particular is what I'd like to do is, you know, play a game of the week. You know, play a game, sim the rest. Now, supposedly, oh, let's check this out. Let's go to today's games. So I, oh, this works. So nice. So uh, you can see Kansas City beat Toronto and... The Cubs beat the Mets, and the Yankees over Milwaukee. And uh, it was the Dodgers over San Diego. So I got the out-of-town scoreboard going here as well. That's kind of fun, too. It just it just adds adds to the immersion. It really does. So, And uh, let's see here. Who else is in the chat room? Oh, Steve Tower. I skipped over Steve Tower. How did I do that? How do you, how do you skip over Steve Tower? Steve Tower was playing the tennis game today. I actually ended up watching 90% of that. Actually, Ron did too. Ron was interested in getting it. So uh, we were looking to see how it plays and if you can play, you know, shot by shot and the whole bit. So uh, Steve and actually Dwayne March did a nice video on that new tennis game by play. I picked it up. I haven't printed it out yet, but I will. So uh, check out Steve Tower's channel and also Dwayne March if you want to check out that new play tennis game. And this Sox team is great. I feel the only thing that could break them up is management forgetting to mail out a contract extension on time. But what are the chances of that? We've heard, we've all heard the stories about the jammed fax machine. We just have it. Kind of, st it kind of stinks, you know. Um, Mung Jerry, Mungo Jerry says, "Looks like I have to pick this game up. It's on sale now. Season ticket is a season ticket baseball dot com, season ticket baseball game dot com. One of the two. Yes, yes, it's so fun. It's so fun. And again, I, I don't even cut out the cards." I just, I just leave them like this, and so I can just kind of thumb through them as I need it because sometimes you need to find the defensive player as well, and it's easier to go through three sheets than it is to go through nine. So I, I, I'm not cutting out my cards. It saves me a little bit of time. I did cut down the pitches a little bit, and I think I mentioned that. So the pitches I sliced into columns like this just so I can stick them on my clipboard over here. So I did cut down the pitches a little bit for what it's worth. Um, but this, this just helps my setup when I, when I do my, my stream in here. All right, so Yastrzemski is up at the plate now in a one-to-one -one game in the bottom of the fourth. And we have a 125 off the card here. And that's going to be 1-6. Wow. How is that a 1-6? Oh, I think it's going to be 1-3. <laughs> it says 1-6. I'm not sure why uh, you would... Go one to six. I don't know how the the shortstop would come over here and cover that, but <laughs> um, I think yeah. I think if it says something like that, it just says just default. Let me just double check here. I didn't see anything yet, but I imagine he's not going to throw it to the third baseman with nobody nobody up. So George Scott, he is all the offense today for the Red Sox. He has that that homa. And he's going to be up at the plate again. And what else is nice about this game? You have a lot of lot of extra options. This game has like a super advanced deluxe master mode, where you can you can work around the batters, so you can kind of take away hits and, and turn them into walks if you want to. But we're not going to do that right now. We're kind of playing a little basic tonight. So we have a three six three. I think that's coming off the George Scott card, and a three six three is going to be a pop up the first base, and making the catch over there is. Thornton, not Joe Thornton, but Andre Thornton. So he pops up this time, and now we're going to go to Brohammer. Where is the Brohammer? Here he is. Brohammer is 0 for 1 today, and just how did he do? He grounded out, in case you were asking. All right, so Brohammer at the plate, and he is 3 Five three. So I think that's off the Brohammer card. And yeah, pop this one up to the third baseman. And that's how we end things here in the fourth. So let's go to inning five. And we have Toby Hara coming up. 
Toby Hara. He's got a he got hit by the pitch. Opening pitch of the day, he got hit. That's how his day's gone. A 122, so off the Eckersley card. A 122 is, oh, that's going to turn into a 322. And a 322 is a fly ball in the right field. That is deep. Evans is there, and Dewey Dwight makes the catch. I think my uh, my thing is crooked over here. All right, so now uh, Norris. Norris is Jim Norris, and he's got a 295. So, again, off the Exley card. Norris is a lefty. So a 295 on a lefty is... Uh-oh, this one's hit deep in the right field. Evans going back in right field. And his power is... Oh, it's only a 2. But he did hit it deep. And an 11 in right field is... That's going to drop in for a double. Deep in right field. So Norris hits this one. Evans can't get it. And he will go into... Second, standing up with a double. <clears throat> and uh, Super Bowl tournament stopped by. Yep. And uh, Mongo Jerry was talking about Digital Diamond. But season ticket looks interesting as well. D uh, Digital Diamond, it, it, it has its own game. But the idea that you can play cards and dice and use it as a helper is, is a game changer. The game itself is fine. Okay, it's fine. But, you know, I like the idea that I can play um, pocket pennant run and payoff pitch and... Appa and season ticket and, you know, all-style lineup base. I can play anything I want in here. It keeps all my stats, and I can sim other games. This is what I wish they had for hockey. So I could play a hockey game, input the stats, and have the computer play the rest. Um, Stone Cold Hockey kind of does that. Kind of does that. And now Brandon says, I'm strongly considering digital diamond purchase. It's 20 bucks. 20 bucks on Steam right now. It's $5 off. I've gotten my money's worth already. I've only had it a couple days. Here we go. So now it's... Bobby Bonds, right? Right around the layout, it's Bobby Bonds with a man on second base and one out. Bobby Bonds with a 3-3-7. Three, three, and a 3-3-7. Three, three, Big cut and a strikeout there. So that's going to be the second strikeout for Eckersley in this game. And now Thornton comes up with two away, and Norris still sitting at second base. He represents the lead run. And... We have a 1-5-7 off the Eckersley card. And that's going to be looped in the left field. Your Skremski coming in, and he will make the catch, and he will head right to the dugout. And that is out number three. So it's a one-to-one -one game here. Season ticket baseball here on the channel. As you can tell, I went heavy baseball on Black Friday, and I'm having some fun. All righty. Now we got Dwight Evans coming up. And so he's on this one right here. There we go. Dwight Evans still facing Wise, who's on the mound. And like I said, I'm going to try to use the fatigue in this game, which i got to figure out what the fatigue is. I haven't finished a game yet. I don't think I need to worry about fatigue right now. But I do want to have that in mind. Pitch of fatigue level. All right, so Wise, his stamina is five. After that, pitcher becomes vulnerable. Okay, every batter that's a hit walker, hit batter, lowers his stamina. Okay. Pitcher with a stamina zero is vulnerable fatigue. Okay, so... So if, oh, when the fatigue comes in, just kind of thinking out loud here, comes in on the um, the 600 rolls is really what that happens, okay? Effects of fatigue are in the 600s, yep. Okay, so that's that. So I don't have to worry about fatigue for wise until the sixth inning. So after this inning, i got to worry about it, and Eckersley can go six without any fatigue. All righty. So I imagine there's a couple of uh, things you can do as well if, as far as fatigue goes. But anyway, that's the fatigue. So after this inning, Wise might be in trouble. The next inning, um, Eckersley. All right, Dewey Evans comes up leading things off. Evans, Montgomery, and Remy. 
And uh oh, we got a 688. That's going to be a 693 because we're at home. And a 693 is going to be a double. So Evans leads things off with a double as he smashes this one into left field. Cox can't get it. Cox is having a tough game. He really is. So Cox is having trouble in left field today. We might need to replace him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, OOTP 23 is on sale. Yep. That, that's on sale, too. I still have 22. I, I haven't played it much. I have a fictional thing going with that, so I think I'm going to just stick with 22. Even though it's only 10 bucks. I think I'm going to stick with 22. All right, Bob Montgomery coming up. Now, here's a guy that's got a bunt five. We're going to drop a bunt, all right, because he can't hit because he's 100 years old. So we're going to drop a bunt. So Bob Montgomery with a bunt of five. And do I want to have the infield in for this bunt? No, bunt defense. Yeah, we'll bring we're gonna have the bunt defense. So they're playing bunt. Montgomery's gonna try to bunt, and here we go. So we have a five added to this roll right here. Oh, it's no oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is terrible. A four and a five is a nine. Lead runner is forced out. And it's a possible double play. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that is about the worst bunt you could ever do in your life. All righty, so. <sighs> Add three to the arm. <laughs> so, all righty, so. Possible double play. So, we're going to check out the arm. So, where did that go? That was... uh. What did I say it was? It was a four is a nine. So it's the catcher. So I got to take a look at Alexander. Alexander. What is the heck is Alexander? How come I can't find Alexander? There he is. All right, so Alexander's arm as a catcher is a three. So let me see if I can do this right. There's a lot of math I got to do here. All right, so his arm is a three. So I roll all of this. Montgomery's speed is a four. So it's a 14. All right, so Evans is out at third. So it's catcher to third. Oh, no, it would be Hara. I'm sorry, it'd be Toby Hara because I'm throwing two to six. So Toby Hara is going to tag Evans, who is going on the play, I think. Or oh, maybe Hara was coming in. So Harry gets back. So we're going to go two to six and then maybe the double play. That's how I'm going to do this here. So I need the roll here. I got a 14 I got to beat. If I get the 14, he is out. And I think we said we added. No, we don't add three because it didn't go to one of those guys. So let's just roll the dice and see what happens. All righty. So, oh, boy. So we got, oh, jeepers, we got a 20. Yep. So. He is out on the double play. So no matter how he did it, he's out. So it's kind of odd with a guy on second. I don't know if that was designed for that. But that's how we're going to play this here. So we're going to go G2, 5, 3. Let's see if that's a double play. Yep, double play. So, <laughs> Montgomery can't even bunt. Oh, man. Oh. So, Montgomery lays down the worst bunt possible right in front of the plate. Evans is gunned down at third, and then they get the slow-running Montgomery on a terrific throw by Toby Hara. And so, a leadoff double goes, wah, wah, by the way. All righty, where's uh, Remdog here? Oh, that's coming off the pitcher card anyway, so we have a... Uh, we have a, uh, a one, one, two, and one, one, two. So it's going to be a three, one, two. That's probably going to be bad news. And a three, one, two is a strikeout. Yep. So strike him out. So the Indians with some terrific defense stop the Sox as we go to the top of the sixth. And it's going to be Alexander coming up. And Alexander is our catcher tonight. 
and he is hitting in the one, two, three, four, five slot. All righty, Gary Alexander, a two, four, three. So that's Eckersley, righty on righty. A two, four, three is righty on right. Oh, that would have been deep center field, but it's uh because he's a righty. He goes fly ball, and Evans will come up with a catch, one away. All righty. And now, around the layout is cheering here for Ted Cox, who's up again. Teddy Cox is, where is Teddy Cox? Uh, he sacrificed hit and then grounded out is what he's done today. And he has an error, by the way. Let's see if he can make up for all this. We got a 5-9-6. So this is hit in the right field. So I got to take a look at Evans. And Evans here on the 5 Nine six is not gonna get there. Oh wait, oh wait, four, five nine six, five nine six, five nine six. Yeah, he's gonna make the catch. All right, F nine. I was looking at five nine nine. He makes the catch, and Evans gets Cox because that's important. All righty, and now it's uh, Dwayne, Dwayne K, Kuiper, right? Kuiper, Kuiper Kipper. Quipper. Quipper. All right, so we got a 322, and that's off of his own card, and that's going to be a single, an infield hit. So I think you can mark off an infield hit, right? So if I go single here, what's going to be my infield hit? Um, not that it matters, but sometimes I like to put it in professionally. No, it's just going to be a single. We'll just do one base. I'll look up later. Maybe it's, uh, I can put an infield here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. There we go. All right, now I'm going to do this in one base. Here we go. So a single for Dwayne Kipper, Kuiper, Kuiper. And Verizer comes up. He's a five bunt. Not good speed on Kuiper, though. But we do need to get him in the scoring position. Oh, there's two outs. Never mind. <laughs> I just noticed that. There's two outs. Never mind. Uh, we have a 1-3-4 off the Exley card. And now we get a 3-3-4. Three, three, so we go to Verizon on the 3-3-4. Three, three, and that's another infield hit. Holy cow. So the Sox having trouble here. And it's two two men on base here with two away, two infield hits in this inning. Yikeronis. JT Dutch stops by, playing some season ticket baseball. I think this is the first time I've shown it off on the channel. Using digital diamond baseball companion to keep my stats and to make it look kind of pretty out there. And so far, I think it does. I'm having some fun. All righty. So, Eckersley trying to get out of this jam. Here we go. Eckersley. He's facing speed. That's a 124 on the Eckersley card. And that's going to turn into 324. And a 324, he struck him out. He gets out of the jam. Whoo! And we go to the bottom of the six. Now, Wise is technically facing fatigue right now. All right, because we're in the sixth. Let me just double check here. So the pitcher fatigue. So his stamina is five. So we're in the six. So now he becomes vulnerable fatigue. Every base runner allowed increase, increases the fatigue by one. So I need to kind of do that right now. So I need to keep track of that. And fatigue affects the 600 numbers. So I'm going to take out my little... Um, pen and paper here, and if I need to, I'm going to be the uh, Rick Wise fatigue level. So I have that over here as my notes, so I can make my notes. All right, but right now he's okay. He's okay. Facing Burleson here in the sixth, and it's a two, five, and a one off of Rick Wise. Burleson is a righty. Yeah, he's a righty. Two, five, and a one. So it's going to be 
It's going to be 581. It turns into a 581. So a 251 turns into a 581. So this has hit out the speed in center field, and a 581 is going to drop in for a base hit. So Burleson lifts this inner center field, and he is on. And now coming up is Freddie Lynn. His bunt is a one, so we're not going to bunt. But, but does Burleson have speed? He does not have speed in 1979. He might have had speed earlier, but he doesn't have speed now. Um, am, am I using as-played lineup? Yeah, I just fired up Digital Diamond Baseball, and I played a game last night using Pocket Pennant Run, just as-played lineups, and then I went into today, and I saw Indians Red Sox, kind of opening day, so I'm going to play that tonight. And, yes, I am able to use um, as-played lineups, and I'm just... You, I'm basically using Digital Diamond to play the game, but I'm using the results from season tickets. So they kind of work really well together. But yet this is as played. I don't do a lot of substitutions. I just just don't. That's just my thing. Again, I play and have fun with it. So anyway. Um, Brandon says, you were able to print off from somewhere the keystrokes to enter the scoring. Yes, yes. Um, this right here. All these pages here. What do I got? Uh... Three or four or five pages. Yep. I mean, the main stuff's on the first page. You know, your cage, your pop-up based on balls, ground balls, stuff like that. And then you can get, really get in deep into the weeds with the commands as, like, as far as telling runners what to happen and the whole bit. Then if you have, like, really crazy plays, it's all in there. But, yes, you can print out that, which I have right here. Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm Bob Montgomery is catching for the Sox, too. So I just went with whatever Digital Diamond said. So, yeah, so I, I guess it is technically – I didn't go back and look on this day, but I just trusted the game. All right, so Freddie Lynn with a 2-2-0. Two, two, and Freddie Lynn is a lefty, right? Freddie Lynn is a lefty. So he's facing Rick Rogers. So it, oh, oh, and the fatigue level because we have a man on base, right? We've got to write down fatigue 1. So he's fatigued 1. So Wise has been fatigued because of that base runner. A 2-2-0 two, two, for Wise is – Oh, it's going to be a double play. Six, four, three, double play off of Lynn. Ugh. Six, four, three, double play. Ugh, bummer. All right, Jim Rice coming up with absolutely nobody on and two out. 300. So that's going to be off the Rice card and simple. Special K. Strike out. So Wise gets out of the jam. So Eckersley now, he can be fatigued now with runners on base as well. All right, so I'm going to keep track of I got Wise and I got Eck. Okay. So, but both pitches are doing well. We're not going to take anybody out yet. We're in the seventh. And Eckersley facing Toby Hara. A 105 on Eckersley. And a 105 is going to be a 305. And a 305, he struck him out. Hara goes down swinging. He's been hit by a pitch, and he struck out today. And that's four strikeouts for Eckersley. And now we have Norris. He's a Norris winner. He won the Norris trophy just because he's Jim Norris. And we get a three, three, and an eight. And a three, three, and an eight is a fly ball in the left. Yaskramski coming over. And Yaz makes the catch and is two away for Bobby Bonds. Not James Bonds and not Barry Bonds. This is Bobby Bonds. I will get that correct by the end of the day. Bobby Bonds facing Eckersley. We got a 324. And struck him out. Eck is heating up as the game continues. And we go into the bottom of the seventh. Rick Wise still on the mound here. And he will face Yaskremski to start things off. And we have a 3-1-6 on the Yaskremski card. And long fly ball into right field. But the bail bondsman is over to make the catch and is one away. Up next we have George Scott. Again, he had the home run in this game. He supplied all the runs for the Red Sox. And uh-oh, uh-oh, 6 Nine three, right? Plus the five is six nine eight. Add ten. Oh, it would be a walk. However, because wise, because wise is fatigued, 
It bumps into a hit to deep center field, so it would have been a walk. It would have been a walk, but it's going to be deep center field. And Scott, oh, he can he do it again? His power of six, deep center field, and it's going to be a nine. Nine and six is 13, center field. Oh, it's going to be speed making the catch at the warning track. Oh. He needed to get that up to a 17. So a 9 and a 6. 9 and 6 is 14. It's still an out. It's still an out no matter what it is, right? 6, 15. Wait, was it? 9, 15. 15 is still an out. So fly ball to center field and speed gets the catch. Oh, so close. Well, that would have been cool if George Scott get back to back. That would have been fun. All righty. It's now Brohammer. Brohammer. Never really, never cared for Brohammer. I don't know why. Not that I was a Hobson guy, but I wasn't a Brohammer guy either. All righty, Brohammer. 120 off of Rick Wise and uh, bounces back to the mound. And so a G1, and that'll, that'll end the side. So we go to the eighth. We're still tight here. It's one to one. Cleveland and the Red Sox. Thornton comes up. He's facing Eckersley, who is. Can get fatigued, but he is not right now. A 4 6 0 off the Thornton card. And so he's a righty righty. So a 4 6 0 is ground ball down the rim, and he makes the play and is one away. And now we have Alexander, Gary Alexander coming up. And honestly, I think I'm doing pretty good considering I'm using kind of the basic game here. A couple, a couple of maybe. Advanced things, but for the most part, I'm going basic mode. And we get a 532. So it's going to be uh, first base, George Scott, 532. And it's going to be a 363 double play. But since there's nobody on base, this is going to be a um, G33, which is the unassisted code. Cox coming up around a layout. I think he's left the building because he's embarrassed. He's wearing the only Ted Cox Indian shirt at Fenway Park here today. And we get a 318 for Cox. So a 318 is another strikeout. So Eck is mowing him down here. And we're going to go to the bottom of the eighth. And we're going to have Dwight Evans coming up to the plate. All right. Do we, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we not? All right. Keep bumping my thing here. It keeps coming off the camera. I should actually tape it down. That's what I'm going to do next time. I'll just tape it down so it can't move. <laughs> That'd be the smart thing to do, right? All righty. Dewey Evans against Wise. We're going to count that as a 387. Dewey Evans on a 387, and he's going to drop one in for a single. All right, so Wise now has two fatigue, so we're going to let him go just a tad more, and then we're going to take him on. So Bob Montgomery comes out. Now, I wonder what I have for catches, so I don't have to have Montgomery even try to bunt. Because he, you know, his bunting's a five, but he bunted so bad last time. I don't know if I dare have him bunt again. All right, who's on my bench? That can play catcher. Gary Allenson. All righty. Uh, and Carlton Fisk, who's not in the game for some reason. Um, who do we let hit? I think I think I might bring in Gary Allenson. I don't know if he was available in, the, in there, but um, I think I'm going to bring in Gary Allenson. So let's go here to Bob Montgomery, and we're going to pinch hit Gary Allenson. Here we go. And I am assume he's available because I would think that the game wouldn't let me play. If they're doing as played, I wouldn't think he would be available. Correct? Correct? All right, so I have Gary Allenson now. Again, my game, my rules. All right, so Wise is going to face one more batter here, and it's Allenson. And it's a 109 for Wise, and it's going to be a 309 for Allenson. And he struck him out. 
So Allenson comes in, and he does exactly what <laughs> Bob Montgomery would have done. <laughs> That's all right. And so now we go to the top of the order to Jerry Remy with Evans on base. And Evans, Evans doesn't have any speed, so I'm not going to send him. So here we go. Remy, a 5-7-1. So this is hit into left field. We got to take a look at Cox, who has an error today. A 5-7-1. And he's going to drop it again. He's going to make another error. E7. Cox. And around the layout has just gone into the men's room to take off the Ted Cox sweater he was wearing. That's two errors in left field for Cox. And it's first and second now. And now we got to take Wise out of the game because he's got three fatigue. So now let's go to the, the bench in the pen. Go to the pen. And who are we going to bring in here? What does the bench coach say? Burleson's coming up. Yeah, that might be pretty good. Hood. Oh, Monge would be even better. So maybe Monge. Sid Monge. All right, so what? Do, let me get my uh, things here. So let me see if I can find Sid Monge to come in. And make sure I got him on the team. I do. All right, so Sid Mon, his stamina is one. So he, he's not a very long reliever, but that's okay. All righty, so now, so Sid Monge comes in. So Sid Monge is going to go here. And if I did that correct, yep, Monge is on. Okay, so Sid Monge is on now. Oh, he's the closer, but... um. That's right. I need somebody in there, so I'm going to put in Sid Monge. Actually, no. Yes, I'm like, let me. Can I undo that? Okay, let me let me undo that because if he's the closer, I didn't notice that, so I don't want to put in the closer right now. Um, give me a second here. Let me find someone else. So let's go to the bench and the pen. And I want to get a lefty, Don Hood. How about Don Hood? What do I have for Don Hood? Oh, he's a righty. He's not a reliever. Oh, wait, no, he is a relief pitcher. He's a lefty. Um, He's got one stamina, too, but he's not the closer. All right, so we're going to go with that. We're going to go, yeah, let's do that. Let's try to be fair. To be fair. All righty. So we're going to go with Don Hood. All right, so Don Hood's coming in. Yeah, there we go. We'll do that. We'll try to get a little bit closer to reality. All right, so Don Hood is in the game, and let's see if he can get this one done here. All right, so he's facing Remy. There's one out. Evans on base. And let's see if Remy can get something going here. Remy, a 303 off the Remy card. And that's a strikeout. Oh, boy. We might be looking at some extra innings tonight. Yay. All righty. So Remy goes down. There's two away. And Burleson. Facing Hood. And we have a hit to center field. So we got to check speed again on the 5-8-7. No, wait, 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 wait. 5-7-8. That's left field. Oh, no. This is Cox again. This is Cox, right? Five, seven, eight, and he drops it again. Five, seven, eight. Cox has made three errors in this game. Oh, my gosh. Five, seven, eight. Five, seven, five, five, eight. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Am I doing this right? I think I am. Five, is that right? Five five eight to five nine nine. Hmm. 
No, wait a sec. Something's wrong here. Yeah, he's in left field. Yep. So if he's in left field, then all these would be, yeah, that would be correct. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. He's got a lot of errors here tonight, but maybe maybe that it's the case because he he's supposed to be third base in left field. Oh, uh, boy. All right, so we're, we're going to go. No, I think that's I think it's another E7. I think so. I think so, right? Let me just double check. I hate to keep doing this, but I am kind of new. Um, rare plays in defense. Yep. So, yeah, the 5 0, so a 5 7 8. Yeah, I think we go up to. Yep. To 599. So, yeah, I think I think that would that would be that, right? I think so. Yep, 5 7 0 all the way up to 5 7 9 9. Mm hmm. That's another error. <laughs> uh, so. So that was, let me just double check. That was an error. Yep, there we go. So three, that's two errors? Okay, there we go. Go out there and check on Cox. Yeah, yeah. I got to double check on I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. I'm pretty sure that, well, it's, it doesn't have his stats. See, that's his third base stats, but he's in left field today. That's kind of how it worked out. Um, so I'm just going by what it's, what's here. So... Maybe he wouldn't be making that ma many errors in left field. So that's that's just kind of what I'm going to go on right now. Because it doesn't say... As far as I know, I don't know how to change anything different. So his rating... His range is the same at third base and left field. So we're going to go... We're just going to go with that again. What is, what, this is my first game. First full game. So I will, I will check into that. But I'm pretty sure that that goes all the way up. Yep. So here we go. Fred Lynn coming up with two on and two out. Freddie Lynn, a 479 against um, Hood, who's a lefty. And Freddie's a lefty, so we said it was a 479. That's not going to be good. That's going to be a fly ball in the center field, and that will end the inning. So, whew, we go to the ninth after all that. And Eckersley's still on the mound. We're going to leave him in for just a little bit. I like to squeeze as much as I can out of these guys. He's getting he's getting tired though. Yeah, the pen is is flashing. Yeah, I see that. I see that. But he's not fatigued yet. Let's let's let him pitch. Oh no. 683. Yeah, 683 is a single. Yep. Come on, come on. Cancel. Oh, why is this doing this? Oh, I'll get a problem here. Gary Allenson will be catcher. How about that? Is that better? Are you happy now? Okay, we're all happy now. I didn't put Allenson as that. All right, so, so we got the end of the dice roll here. We said that was a single, right? So that was a 6-8-3, and it's going to be a single. So now... We got to look at taking Eckersley out. Alrighty, so so Eckersley is now fatigued, so we're gonna take him out. And who are we gonna bring in here? I don't know if I want to bring in a closer because we're looking at extra innings. So let's go to my pen. And okay, these are the Indians. I don't want to put an Indian pitcher. Who are we gonna bring in? Stanley? Nah, I don't want to bring in Stanley. Drago's my closer. Remerswall? Hassler? Finch? I don't want to do anybody that's going to be starting. Bergmeier. Yeah. Oh, Campbell. Let's go Campbell. Let's go Bill Campbell. Let's bring in Soupy. Soupy Campbell coming in, and he's going to hopefully get things done here. All right. So Bill Campbell's going to come in. As the pitcher. And that should do that. All right. So Campbell coming in now with one on and nobody out. Verizer is a five bunt. 
Uh, Kuiper doesn't have a lot of speed, but Hope Cox didn't invite his parents to the game today. We're going to bunt. You have to bunt. All right, so defense is in. The bunt is on. The bunt is on. So Verizer is a bunt five, but everybody's aware of it. So a bunt five. So on a bunt, oh boy, so a three. Twelve. Strike two. So he's going to have to hit now. So he fouls it off, and now he's going to have to hit. So is going to have to swing away here. And we got hit the center field. Freddie Lynn, a 5-8-5. Five, five, and he makes the catch. So Freddie Lynn will make that catch in center field, and Verizon goes down. And now speed coming up. Horace speed. His bunting is not that good, so we're going to let him swing away. Oh, a 6-42. And a 6-42, that's going to be a fly ball into center field, and Lynn's there again. Okay. And now Toby Harrah comes up with Kipper Kuiper Keeper on first base. Toby Harrah, a 308. And struck him out. So Soupy Campbell coming in and takes care of the engines here in the ninth. So now Hood on the mound. He's expected to face Rice, Skremski, and Stott. Scott, the meat of the lineup. All righty, Jimmy Rice facing Hood. And this is going to be hit down to second base to Kipper, Kuiper, Keeper. And we get a 5-4-8. And it's going to be a single in the right field. So Rice is on with a single. And now Hood is stamina one. So that moves him into... Uh, fatigue one, because he's already in his second inning. So Hood is fatigue one. Keep that in mind. Yaskrebski does not bunt ever. Rice does not have any speed, so he's not going to steal. So we're going to have to rely on the bats, the Sox are. All right, here we go. Yaskrebski facing Hood. That's going to be a 453. Hood is a lefty. Yaz is a lefty. 453. Oh, he rocks this for two bases. Two bases and a plus. What's a plus? Two bases plus. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you kidding me? 2B plus. Long double all runs score. Yes, Skrebsky with a two-bagger and all runs score. He hits this one in the center field. Rice comes around to score. No, no, no. No, back up, back up. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to undo. That should have been three stars, right? He should have scored. Right? Let me, let me do that again. That's a... That should be the end of the game. It's a walk-off double. So star, star, star. So we're going to swing. So 2B, two, two star, star, star. Let's see if that gets him home. And it does. It's a walk-off double. And Yaskremski puts it over the head of who else? Cox. <laughs> <laughs> in left field, and Rice comes around to score, and that is that. That is cool. So the Sox get the walk-off double from Yaskremski here in season ticket baseball, and that is that. So let's save and exit the game, and we'd like to make this game official. Yes, we would. Okay. That was pretty cool. Let's take a look at our box score here. Player of the game, George Scott, one for three with a homer. Here's our box score. Here's our newspaper box score. You can't really read it, but um, pretty cool. I like how they have the extended box score to tell you what happened with everybody. The scorecard, what happened. So if we go to the Red Sox ninth, we have a single, and then we have a double, and that that is cool. So it tells you all the commands I put in pretty much. Play-by-play -play of the game. Scoring plays. Bottom of the ninth. 
Yep. And it's a little thing here. Cool. Nice. All righty. So let's. Uh, so this day has been played. So let's go back here. <laughs> let's check my season overview. And here's the standing. So the Sox win. The Yankees also won their game. And I played. Um, I think I played the Angels with pocket pennant run here in '79, and that is that. So that is that. So let me come back to Studio B. So that's a little bit of season ticket. It, it took me a while to play because I'm still getting used to it and I'm still getting used to Digital Diamond, but that was fun. I mean, I, I'm probably going to play another game offline here tonight, and I, I think Jack is supposed to go on on, on Twitch tonight, but I'm going to play another game. This was, this was so fun. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I had fun. Now, again, I might have made some mistakes. i got to look up a couple of things here. It just felt like there was a lot of errors for that one guy, but... Uh, you know, that's, that's, I think that's what it is. I think, you know, unless I made a mistake, but, um, I'll double check that, but, uh, that was fun. That was a good time. As Jim, Jim stops in just like, yeah, you need to check this out. Yeah. Season ticket baseball is fun. It really is. I'm getting used to it here. Um, Cox is on his way to the Mexican league. Yeah. I don't know where he's going. Triple A, double A, single A. He's, he's done. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's not, he's not a happy boy, but anyway, so that is some season ticket baseball using digital to di digital, digital diamond as my companion. Very fun. They're both so fun. It really is. I'm, I'm enjoying these baseball games. And, uh, so that is that. So anyway, Hey, I'm Dave. I'll catch up with you guys later. Um, we got to wrap things up, uh, on tomorrow with cyber Monday. So we want to wrap some things up and, uh, with the uh, black Friday stuff. And then we'll have a black Friday wrap, wrap up show. And we'll talk about all the things we got, and maybe we'll find out what you guys get, too. We'll see what the hot item is. What was the hot ticket this Black Friday is what we like to find out. So, anyway. Um, yeah, he did play there. Yeah. Um, I'm looking here. At, uh, Ted Cox, third base, left field. Um, it's just uh, the only things I have is third base defensive stats here. So, I don't know if that affects anything at all. But um, his range was the same. His fielding was pretty close to the same, a little bit less maybe. But uh, it just happens, you know. So, it's he just makes a lot of errors, I guess. It's just kind of how the dice roll, too. So, anyway. Hey, I'm Dave. Again, thanks for tuning in as I played some Digital Diamond. A nice nice new baseball game I found here. And uh, now I might need to go buy another season of this because this is so fun. So fun. And, uh, anyway. Hey, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good night.